Hey busy bees, I hope you guys are having a great Wednesday. Today I wanted to share with you a very exciting clip uh, from a segment that I did yesterday with the home and family show on the Hallmark Channel. Yesterday I went on to the Universal Studios back lot and spent the whole day with the cast and crew over there. Uh, I met Debbie Matinopoulos, Mark Steinis, Mary Murphy, and Lacey Chabert on the show. Oh my gosh, it was such an amazing experience. To be honest, the whole time I was watching Lacey Chabert and interacting with her, the only thing that I can think of in my head was saying, that's so fetch. So fetch. <laughs> but I decided, no, I'm sure she gets that all the time from Mean Girls. So I decided to zip it and just be professional. But like the whole time I wanted to say that. Um, and Mary Murphy, she is so awesome. When she, she's very calm and subdued when you're talking to her, but when she turns it on, the hot tamale train comes on and she's so much fun. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy watching this clip. Um, I made a no-bake raspberry cheesecake. The recipe can be found on my blog at honeysucklecatering.com. And tomorrow, you guys, stay tuned because I'm gonna come back with another easy weeknight meal uh, recipe. It's gonna be one of my favorites, a poke bowl. And you guys asked me how to make the seaweed salad, so I have that in there as well. Anyways, enjoy the clip and let me know what you think below. This was my first ever TV appearance, so I was super nervous. Like my heart heart was literally beating. I thought it was gonna like pop out of my chest, but everything turned out fine and it was so fun. Again, I'll see you guys tomorrow and enjoy. Welcome back everybody. She started cooking at the very young age of eight and now she has over 20 million views and 340,000 subscribers on her culinary YouTube channel. Please welcome to our Hong, our Hong, our Hong, <laughs> Zong Lewis. <laughs> welcome. Welcome, Zong. Thank you. So also joining us at the counter is Lacey, and so you think you can dance is Mary Murphy, Mary so Murphy. no pressure. <laughs> they all bellied up to the bar because they're very excited about your raspberry, no-bake raspberry cheesecake, yes. which is absolutely delicious. But before we get into this, I would like to know how this all started for you. At eight years old, how were you so interested in cooking? Yeah, I grew up with my grandma, and she loved to cook. She was like the best chef I've ever met, and I would also be her sous chef at the young age, and we would watch like Martin Yan, Jacques Pepin, and wow. all that. Yeah, so we'd recreate those dishes after we watched them on Saturdays, so it was really oh fun. Oh my goodness, that sounds so yeah. lovely. And then, but then you took your passion. Yes. As an eight-year-old, and it grew. Yeah. And it, it grew so large that you couldn't <laughs> deny it anymore. And as an adult at a very successful um, finance firm, <laughs> you quit your job to follow your passion and start a YouTube channel. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Like, it doesn't always work out as well as it has for some. So yes, I was working in finance and my boyfriend at the time, who's now my husband, yes. we decided, hey, let's uh, film a cooking show on YouTube. That's when YouTube became really popular in And you sort of did it just kind of as like. For fun, yeah. yeah. And then uh, I decided not to go back to a finance career and just focused on my passion and just Ever since 2012, we've been making uh, an episode every weekend. And it's been hugely now. successful. Thank you. You guys it's dig in. So Feel free to yeah. dig in. It's, it's yeah, delicious. Enjoy. I was hoping this that you have to wait. One, I somebody to say <laughs> go. <laughs> <laughs> just needed permission. This is just one of the many amazing recipes mm. that you share on your wow. YouTube channel. Mm. I'd love to show our viewers mm. some of the other ones. They're very approachable, by the way, as well. Yeah, so that is my carnitas taco. Um, I use the Instant Pot, which is kind of like a pressure cooker. It does like everything. And I cook it in like an hour versus five for a yeah, traditional carnitas. Take a carnitas. Long time. And we make that every week. Ooh, what's that? Uh, that is a lemongrass beef noodle salad. It's kind of a traditional Vietnamese dish that's not super popular. Everyone thinks of pho, but this is one of my favorites. And 25 epic toast ideas. What yeah. do you mean by that? Whoa. So, avocado toast is super popular, True. right? Yeah. I decided you don't just need, you don't need just avocado. You can like make everything with toast. So I did everything from savory to sweet. And the honey toast is actually my favorite. Oh, what's uh, that? There's like ice cream, honey, butter, and fruit and 
Snickers on top. It's really decadent. Wow. But so yeah. it's like an ice cream sandwich with a piece of bread. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> a piece of toast. toast. Yeah. Oh, oh piece sorry. Of toast. Sorry, piece of toast. I got it wrong. That sounds like delicious. Toast reimagined. Well, this is really great, too. And yeah. it takes 10 minutes because it's a no-bake raspberry Absolutely. cheesecake. So you get all of the yummy cheesecake flavors without all the effort. All right, so how yeah. do we get started? So here I have some cream cheese, and I'm just going to add a little bit of powdered sugar. Okay. Here. Is it warm? Is it room temperature or is it cold? Yeah, the cream cheese is actually room temperature, and that's mm -hmm. the most time-consuming thing for this recipe is to let it sit out for like oh, an oh, hour. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I could never. Really awful. Well, I probably put on a good football this game. This is sour and cream. Forget. Oh, is that? And sour? I'll give it yeah. a nice tang. Mm, delicious. Oh, it's nice. Okay. okay. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, of course, I'll be your sous chef, just like you were for your grandma. <laughs> thank you. Mm. And then I have some lemon juice. All right. To give it that lemony flavor, a little bit of milk. And then the lemon zest. And then lemon zest. You know, this is a lemon cheesecake, and even though we're already adding some lemon, I feel like the lemon zest just boosts that lemony flavor in Can you guys there. taste that? Yeah. The lemon zest. Yeah. 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 Oh, we're supposed to taste it. I'm just inhaling right. it. Sorry. Right. 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 I'm sorry. Yeah. Nobody and told me I had to taste. Yeah, yeah no. And it's just going right down. Together. Yes. And then. With a hand mixer? With the hand mixer. Hopefully, I don't get it all over us. It tastes like cheesecake. Is what it does, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, and you just whip it for a few minutes until That's it kind of comes together. Yeah, and then we already have some made here, right here. So oh, you put in piping actually, bags. Actually, first, I'm going to prepare the mason jars, and we have graham cracker comes here. Oh, yummy, and you put that at yeah. the bottom as the crust, huh? Yeah, absolutely. So I'm just going to put maybe like a tablespoon. That's it, nothing else, just graham crackers. Graham crackers and melted butter, and you just smash it. Okay. With I, a rolling pin. It is, yeah. like you the could put a graham favorite. cracker crust on anything, <laughs> yeah. and, and it would it's going to make it better. Yeah. That's true. Really. Like even a yeah. piece of salmon. You yeah. could, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually going to make that tonight. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I dug all my crust Could you out use the anything besides the graham cracker? Yeah, to take crust? this to the next level, I feel like ginger snap cookies <gasps> would be really oh, delicious, oh, too. Would, can, I, like, can I get that <laughs> instead? <laughs> can I get that instead? <laughs> so good. And then a nice little hack or trick, use like an espresso tamp or anything with a flat bottom, and then just press it down like that. Oh. Yeah. Look at that. Makes it nice and smooth. I love that. And then oh. we're going to add. Yep. Okay. Perfect. So now we have our cheesecake in, and then I have a raspberry sauce. I'm just going to pour a little bit over. How did you make the raspberry sauce? It's mm. super easy. You just take fresh raspberries, a little bit of sugar, lemon juice, cook it down, That's and it. voila. Then I like to decorate it with this is beautiful. Uh, thank you. How great would this be for a dinner party oh, for dessert for yeah. people? It really yeah. looks fancy. Yeah. It looks fancy. Well, yeah. not, oh, I don't know. Can everybody at your dinner party eat this, or can the new one at your dinner party? Oh, yeah. Yes. I have a four-month-old baby. Yeah, yeah. A little too early for this. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. And we have her brother, the border so. collie. All of them. She likes ice cream. Huh? Yeah, look at her. That was her two-month-old birthday. So two scoops for two months. Oh, <laughs> She was so cute. She was here earlier. She was. And I know, you know, Lacey loves to smell babies, and I was hoping she was going <laughs> to. Bring me that baby. Bring me that baby. Bring me that baby. I said, where is that baby, Zong? The baby had to go home and nap. Oh. Yeah, she was excited to be here, and then she's like, I'm over it. I need, oh. a, I need to go on the end. But wait, wait, time out. Time out. Uh, enough of the baby stuff. It's it's a scoop per year? Is that what's... Because, I yeah. mean, <laughs> per month. Wow. I'm trying, hey, I'm going to do the math here. You have what quite a few coming here? your way. I got a lot. Yeah. I've been missing out on this tradition That's for true. many, many months. All right, Sonny, yeah. get in here. Let's taste this. This is really it's, yummy. It's Beautiful. very good. It's cheers. Very good. Cheers. There you go. You guys, cheers. Come back. Let's hear you.